any worry about Jack Sullivan taking your facial hair crown? Um, for a mustache? Pro no, not really. He, he, it's weird. He reminds us of a mix of Nick Figueroa and Joe Bryson. So it's kind of, that's what's going on in the locker room right now. But no worries yet. Uh, more serious question. Justin, you're back. You know, you came back and made a decision. How's that been going, you know, just getting to move to center full time and, you know, be the guy in the middle? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to come back for my final season um, under Coach Riley and Coach Henson. Yeah, I'm definitely excited, you know, play center. Uh, Coach Hanson played center, so I'm learning a lot. You know, played guard last year. I uh, feel like I, I did pretty well there, and now it's kind of time for a new challenge uh, at center. What was the thing that pushed it over the edge for you to, you know, make the decision to come back? Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, de the development I got here uh, last year was, was unbelievable in terms of the line play, and just learning football. Um, the stuff that I need to know as an O-lineman is, is uh, pretty in-depth and it's really built my football knowledge and then just the technique Coach Henson's given me, you know, I, I definitely could use a year of that um, just to perfect it and be more consistent at it. So. How much of a difference is there between playing guard and center, between what you have to see yeah. pre-snap and, and talk and all that? The, the biggest challenge I feel like I'm going through right now is uh, trying to always make the perfect call. Um, you can't get caught up in that as a center. You kind of just got to make a call, roll with it, and kind of get going. And, you know, I uh, just, just got to play ball a little faster, you know. Um, but it's just a little stuff that is easily, easily fixable. And then, obviously, we got a bunch of new guys. So just building that chemistry as a center and all of us getting used to each other's communication is, is a big key. Did you go to Brett at all? And, and you worked in the offense last year at, at center. And did you talk to him? pointers or, or anything like that? Well, yeah, I've just kind of, I've always been under Brett since I've been here, just the, the two center guy. And so I've always been able to watch him and, and a little bit of my game is like him just because I liked what he did. Um, some stuff's different, but, you know, just being here for my entire career and watching him play has been a huge benefit for me. And so, yeah, um, just throughout the years, I've kind of picked up on some of the stuff I like that he does. Last year, you guys mentioned that you took Mason under your wing. Are there freshmen or people, younger people now that you guys are taking under your wing this semester? Yeah, I mean, this year um, we only have Paige that came in early, and uh, that kid's an awesome, awesome uh, addition to the O-line room. I'm bummed he's so young. I wish he was in my room uh, a couple years ago, uh, not for my final year. But, yeah, Paige is, is an awesome addition. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see his future with the Trojans. And then just the new transfers, uh, Tarquin and Kingston. They, uh, yeah, Tarquin and Kingston. Sometimes I mix them up on accident. I'll call them the other name. And I apologize right away. But uh, they're great dudes. Uh, they fit in the room really well. Um, and I'm just excited excited for this room moving forward. Is there anything that they brought over from, from their last couple years playing at other schools that, that you've been able to learn from them in any way? Um, well, not, not particularly Tarquin because he's a tackle, uh, so I don't, I don't really have the same technique as him. But yeah, me and uh, Kingston, you know, just little little details and stuff. He's told me that his coach is taught, and then he's learning the new stuff from Henson. So it's kind of cool, just adding adding more tools in the toolbox. Just curious if you if you saw the combine video of Voorhees, and what did you think about that? The tears the ACL, goes through, hits the bench, and does more reps than anyone in the combine. Yeah, I, uh, I really wasn't surprised at all. Um, that's just who he is. He's been that guy for all this time. And I'm so bummed he didn't uh, have both legs because I think he would have broke that record. Um, but that dude's just tough. His whole career, he's been tough. Uh, whether it's injury or something going on in his life, he's always been able to push through. Um, and he's a, he's a role model for me. You know, I've always looked up to him. And uh, just, I was not surprised one bit, and I'm so happy for him. Uh, for what he did and, and going and showing who he is. What's it like coming back and, and being part of this offense that's just so loaded and you've got the Heisman Trophy winner coming back? I mean, that's a rare opportunity that you, you don't see very often in college football. Yeah, um, it's really important. You know, you can't be comfortable with the results you got from the previous year. Uh, so we, we definitely have to push it. Because, um, you know, last year we, we had hit almost rock bottom the previous year. And so anything was improvement. And, 
this year, since the bar is so high, we, we have to do better. We have to push ourselves harder in these practices. And whatever we did last year isn't good enough. And so that's just kind of the mindset we have going into this. Let's do one more. We've heard rave reviews from the linebackers about the running back room. Uh, obviously blocking for the guys that they stood out to you as well. Um, yeah, they, they are a great, great room. Uh, I think we're going to get to know a little bit more about some of the younger guys and, and uh, transfers and stuff have come in about these practices. Uh, first two days were no pads, so it's, it's hard to tell. Uh, it's quick whistle stuff. But today, yeah, there were some impressive guys. Uh, AP, uh, hard runner and gives a lot of effort, you know, and that's you just want to see that as a freshman because they're going to make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. But uh, just their effort and like, level of uh, pushing past that is, is important. It's cool to see that. Thanks, Justin. Yep. Thank you.